Welcome to this month in Datadog. My name is Sara Pulida, I'm a staff developer advocate here at Datadog. As always, we'll update you on your latest features, product announcements, events, and more. This episode, we're spotlighting a pair of heatmap updates that offer teams even deeper insights into user activity on their websites and applications. We're also covering a new catalog to ensure the performance and compliance of your APIs, easily accessing Cloud Sync integrations through a centralized hub, and a new feature that enables teams to group and organize their session replays. But before we get to those, we have exciting open source updates to share with you. First up, the Datadog agent now supports ingestion of open telemetry protocol logs. Whereas our agent already supported traces and metrics from OTIL instrumented applications, teams now get pre built support for features from our log processing pipelines. Next, we're proud to announce the Datadog Open Source Hub, a dedicated space to learn about Datadog open source projects, our contributions to third party projects, and other open source initiatives. And finally, we are excited to share one of our open source projects, KubeHound, a toolkit for visualizing attack paths across Kubernetes deployments. KubeHound graphs attack paths across a cluster and maps this onto your environment giving defenders an edge over attackers. Check out the links in our show notes to learn more about these open source updates. And now, on with the show. Efficiently group and organize your session replays with playlists. Documenting replays to later reference during an investigation often means saving them to a notebook or copy and pasting them to a spreadsheet. With playlists, now you can organize lists of replays into groups and easily share them across teams, which helps you identify common errors and resolve issues faster. The Datadog API catalog is now available in beta. At a time when APIs are more widely used and independently managed, teams can lose visibility into their APIs. Our catalog is a unified inventory that enables you and your team to more efficiently monitor, document, and manage your APIs so you can ensure the performance and compliance. Our last new feature is Content Packs for Datadog Cloud Sync. Within Cloud Sync, Content Packs is a centralized hub for log source integrations and the related content, including detection rules and dashboards. By making these integrations easier to find and use, Content Packs streamlines the configuration of log sources so teams can more quickly monitor their environments for security issues. That was just a sneak peek of the many features we released this month. For a full list, visit the link shown. This month, we are putting the spotlight on a pair of heat map updates. Here's Jamie to tell you more. Thanks, Ara. A few months ago, we introduced heat maps to help organizations understand user behavior in aggregate. At a quick glance, teams can identify the hot spots for click activity and understand which parts of the page users are drawn to. Now, our journey to help digital analytics teams understand user engagement hasn't stopped there. We're excited to share our latest advancements in the world of heat maps with two new map types, top elements and scroll maps. Top elements allows you to focus on the most important interactions on your page. Here I can see a product page from my e-commerce store, Shopist. Overlaid on the page is a ranking of how often people click on each element, in this case, each product. I can understand at a glance which items are the most frequently shopped for and in what order. For any particular action, like clicking on a chair, I can see a more statistical analysis about the frequency of that action and even the exact users who have clicked on it. And with scroll maps, teams can effectively measure user engagement to answer key questions about their websites, like where should I place my ads to ensure users are interacting with them? If a product is at the bottom of the page, does that mean a user won't see it and thus not buy it? And at what point in the page do users typically drop off? On top of that, you can view the different percentiles of drop-off and 
By looking at this distribution on the left-hand panel, I can see that the majority of my drop-off happens around the 50th percentile of my page. I can click into a portion of the page I want to inspect further, maybe where I've noticed people are dropping, and pivot to watching session replays from the exact moment they left and where they went next. By watching session replays directly from a scroll map, I can make sense of the entire user journey with a true visual recreation. For more information on top elements in scroll maps, visit the links in the description. Back to you, Ara. Thanks, Jamie. Before we go, we wanted to let you know about our upcoming event, Security Observability Day, where we'll discuss mitigating vulnerabilities and identity risk. This virtual event will be happening on November 14th at 12 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss this opportunity to hear from Datadog security experts to learn more about our latest innovations to secure your cloud-native infrastructure and applications. Check out the link in the show notes to learn more and to register. And that wraps up today's episode. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Datadog. See you next month.